Well, we're here uh, today at our Seals in Practice open day at uh, Suffolk Farm in Aberdeenshire. And I'm, st I'm standing in the middle of a spring barley variety trial with all the new recommended list uh, varieties. Now in the UK as a whole, the, the malting sector needs more than one and a half million tonnes of spring barley that's split between malt distilling use and brewing use. So malt distilling is predominantly in Scotland and brewing in, in England. So this is uh, the variety Belgravia. So this is currently the only uh, fully recommended variety for the high nitrogen, high enzyme use used by the uh, grain distilling sector. Here we have Concerto, the current market leader with 80% of the malting intake in Scotland and it's had up to one third of the brewing intake in England. So Concerto now, although it's appreciated for its very high quality, has become significantly outclassed for its yield. The new variety Laureate out yields Concerto by 12%, which is a massive yield improvement over a relatively short um, space of time. So this is Sienna. So this is one of a number of varieties. They've been around on the recommended list for a little longer than Laureate, but because of the wide appeal uh, in Laureate among the, 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 the malting industry, um, Sienna is likely to be um, overtaken in terms of uh, any interest it has attracted to date. One interesting feature about Sienna is its very high specific weight. That's a measure of uh, grain density and that might give it an edge in some malting processes where a high specific weight might mean that um, processing efficiency can be increased with a higher weights of barley being um, processed in each batch. And here we have KWS Sassy, another fairly new variety. Like Sienna and Octavia, this may have much more uh, limited or selective use, certainly from the, um, the, the Scottish uh, malting industry. So it's something that growers of these varieties, these new varieties, they do need to consult with their maltster to ensure that there, there is a market for them. So here is Propino. This is currently the, the leading brewing variety in England. And this is the variety that is likely to be replaced by RGT Planet and certainly for harvests uh, 2018 and 2019, I would expect Planet to grow really quite significantly. And similar to the way that Laureate has a higher yield than Concerto, uh, Planet has a significantly higher yield than Propino, and that will be of value to growers of um, brewing varieties. Dioptric is a high yielding barley it's a barley that will be grown in scotland only and it has potential use for the high nitrogen high enzyme market so it could be a potential replacement for the current standard uh, belgravia this variety lg diablo is one of the current uh, candidates at the moment the variety looks quite promising in terms of its grain qualities for both brewing and malt distilling. So we'll have more information in spring 2018 as to whether or not this uh, variety might eventually become a rival for uh, the new varieties such as Laureate and RGT Planet. This is Fairing. This is a variety that sh is showing promise for the high nitrogen, high enzyme sector. So varying is higher yielding than the current standard uh, Belgravia and it's relatively early maturing. 
so it, it could have a, a place uh, for that uh, particular sector. But do note it won't be used for other uh, malting interests such as brewing and malt distilling. Here is Laureate, so a variety that has just got its full IBD approval for brewing and distilling, the variety that's attracted a lot of interest from the malting sector and also the seed trade have put effort into multiplying up uh, a large bulk of seed for sowing spring 2018. Here is Octavia, so one of the varieties Again, I've suggested it's, it's been around a little bit longer than Laureate, but because of Laureate's rise, it may miss out on an opportunity to develop a large market share. Like Concerto and Laureate, Octavia has this dual purpose for brewing and malt distilling. RGT Planet, this variety is predicted to become the major brewing variety in England over the next two years. So that means it will compete and possibly eventually replace the variety Propino. Now in Scotland, the brewing intake is relatively small, but varieties like RGT Planet can still be grown, particularly by feed growers who want high yield, combined with relatively early maturity.